Finally, a legendary I really like. What's going on, Outriders? Today, I'm going to give you a little first look at the Bulwark. So this is an automatic shotgun. It's got a nice capacity. And I got to say, I do not like the first mod. You saw it previous image. I took that off, applied one that I like to give us damn near, assuming you've got an aggressive play style and really good firepower on your back, an almost infinite ammo shotgun build. And if you think about it, shotguns meet up in your face, so you can get quite aggressive. This is a brief little display of what this gun can do. And Perpetuum is an amazing perk on the game. It's arguably one of the best, and combine that with blighted rounds, volcanic rounds, and a lot of other combinations for infinite ammo in this game. And this gun has extreme potential. I'm a big fan of this gun, and I found a lot of success with it. And honestly, the aggression that comes with shotgun gaming means you put it in there. So you just got to learn to pace yourself, take on and do a lot of damage in case you're running low on ammo, do a lot of damage to the boss, turn away and kill one of the regular random mobs that you can kill easily, replenish your ammo and go right back in and finish off the boss if you need to be. I think the gun is really good. I can't wait to see what this can do on Trickster because right now, keeping in mind, I'm on Technomancer. I don't have some crazy firepower build put together. I've got to mix and match a different armor on. This is what I'm used to using for my rifle build. But I was able to put this gun on and push tier 13 this smoothly. Keeping in mind that this gun is only level 48 as well, so it's matching the tier that it's currently on. I can make this even stronger, and given the right class or the right build, this can go well beyond what I'm demonstrating right now. So it's not often that I find legendaries that I like. They have to have at least one exceptional perk, and I think this gun surprised me when I started using it. I didn't think I was going to make it out the first rush, honestly. I thought those guys are going to melee me in half, make a little pwn sandwich out of me, but it didn't happen. To my surprise, this thing shreds, and you can run out there, and you can absolutely dominate with it. So again, this isn't like a phenomenal one. It may be replaceable with the right epic, with the right rolls, but it's well-rounded. It's built well for close quarters. Uh, as for a placeholder for a shotgun, if you do happen to get this and you don't have your god roll, man, this is a great one. It really is. One big piece of advice when using this, I guess this is general shotgun advice in, <laughs> in the overall grand scheme of things, but they're not great against bosses. It's a great one. Don't get me wrong. It's wonderful for clears. It's going to speed up probably a lot of your runs. It's very strong. But at the end of the day, bosses swing. They melee. They have a lot of resistance. They don't want you close enough to them to be able to put some damage on. So unless you have ridiculous crowd control, which not a lot of people have, you're realistically not going to be able to get close enough to do this, not to mention you're going to really need that recycled ammo to put a dent in these guys. So it's a great gun, it's burst, it's got wonderful ad clear, but I recommend you having something with range, like a rifle on your backup for boss fights and any long-range portions of maps you may encounter. So that's just one huge piece of advice I can give you. Don't just go in there thinking it's honestly a solution to every problem. It is strong in its strong ways, it's weak in its others. So this was, and is, one of the best auto shotties in the game that I've experienced, and finally a legendary worth its weight. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you for checking out the Bulwark. I appreciate your time. Thanks for clicking on it. And remember to subscribe. We have a lot more legendaries to go through, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you like it? How do you plan on using it? Thank you, guys. Enjoy. Happy hunting out there.